started here before we all sort of turn numb or blue or something. Speaking of blue, we do not have a blue sky, uh, but we're feeling like we ought to have a blue sky given the progress we've made over the last three years with vacants to value. Um, so um, uh, we're going to get to round two of vacants to values today. Uh, my name is Paul Graziano. I'm the Commissioner of Housing for the City of Baltimore. And here we are for uh, Phase two, we had a nice breakfast um, a couple hours ago where we celebrated the three years of progress. Here we are, uh, and we unveiled the new logo and so forth. Uh, here we're talking about the rehab and homeownership opportunities. And so um, uh, it's a multifaceted program. A little later, uh, we're going to be over demolishing some properties over on Hillman and Johnson Square, and then we're uh, we're going up to uh, Park Heights to uh, dedicate uh, a ball field, which is on land that was previously blighted property, been cleared, uh, and then we'll be finishing up the day uh, with a how to buy a city-owned property workshop uh, at Humanum at 6 o'clock. So it's, it's really uh, uh, the whole range of activities that are related to uh, the Vacants to Value program. And I'm very, very pleased. Uh, that we're having this opportunity to, to showcase so many different aspects uh, on this lovely, uh, cool day. Um, I would like to ask the mayor to come up and, uh, and to uh, uh, reflect on how the day is going and uh, perhaps the last three years. And uh, I'll make a few couple of introductions after that. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. So how is it going cold? But it could be worse. We could be dealing with that, that nasty four-letter word with flakes that we don't want to see any more of, hopefully, for a while. So, Commissioner, thank you very much for all of your hard work. It has been a pleasure oh, pleasure for, for me to celebrate three years of vacancy to value with your entire team, Julie Day, who who's, looks a little tiny bit warmer than me, and Michael Braverman, and Ken Strong, and Peter Engel, and it, it's always my pleasure to be in the presence of other mayors. We have Mr. Burke, the mayor of Remington, and the, the mayor of, uh, here, here today. What, I keep forgetting the, what is that, Miller's Court? That's your building? They call you the mayor of Miller's Court, so it's good to, good to see him as well, and the, uh, the great team of uh, Seawall Development for their commitment to quality development for their community. Uh, Ms. Kunst, the president of Remington Community Association. So I have the president of the association, the mayor, everybody's here today. And Ms. Cook, our homeowner who is uh, was featured, even though you have not seen the video yet. Uh, she is from where did you say? Amarillo, Texas. Amarillo, Texas. North Texas. <laughs> Relocated to Baltimore. Putting down roots here and teaching our children. I'm so proud to have you, to feature you in the video and to have you with us this afternoon. Today is an exciting time for our city, specifically all the neighborhoods across the city that are being improved because of our vac Vacants to Value initiative. When we developed this program, our mission was clear to get more of Baltimore's vacant and abandoned properties cleaned up and redeveloped more quickly, more efficiently, more economically. Three years later, that's exactly what Vacancy Value has done. We initiated the rehab of over 1,400 properties. And if I don't get We're below, up to 1,500 down there. Oh, 1,500 properties. See, that was last week's number. Yeah. We have initiated the demolition of 700 dilapidated structures, initiated the adoption and greeting of over 800 lots. Uh, by community groups and the award the uh, we have awarded over 500 home buyer assistance grants and Ms. Cook is one of the recipients of that Baltimore's one of the the world's most charming cities and I get proud every time we get to show off uh, to we get to show off to to our new homeowners that are coming from other places and What's important about being here in Remington is because we're here in Remington where we have neighbors that have been here for generations, for decades, and have been faithful and hopeful and dedicated to keeping their property clean, and that, yet they had to live with properties like this one behind us. They had the ceiling falling in. 
in on it and knowing that they deserve better. And that's why I'm so proud of what Vegans to Value is able to do because we are bringing better to neighborhoods like Revington. Our more than 200 neighborhoods make up the urban heart of Maryland. And this initiative is about preserving and enhancing the splendor of our magnificent city. It's about preserving, as I mentioned, to attract new residents and also to bring relief to those families who have called Baltimore home for decades. The senior wet widow who lives next to a roofless vacant that is flooding her home, or the young couple having difficulty purchasing homeowner's insurance because of the vacant property next door, or as I mentioned, the proud homeowners, the families that have worked to maintain their properties while surrounding blocks slowly deteriorate, vacants to value is bringing different, it's bringing better, it's bringing more stable communities block by block. Uh, vacant to value is bringing relief, but our work is far from done. Today we are redoubling our efforts by relaunching the Vacant to Value logo right there with the help of our MICA students. We have, you know, just we have a wealth of talent here in Baltimore and the students are fantastic. They took our ideas right up, plucked them out of our head and made logos out of them. This is what we would have come up with if we had some, oh, yeah. just a little tiny bit of artistic talent. We could, this is exactly what we would have come up with. Yeah. But they did it for us, and they were so, that we uh, spent some time with them this morning. They were um, so proud of the work, and we're proud of them too. Uh, and uh, we're uh, launching the uh, website and promoting our new uh, homeowner incentives. These initiatives will uh, assist those looking to purchase a home and make it easier for them to go on online and locate a rehabbed home for sale. They'll also be able to find the nearest schools, parks, grocery stores, and crab houses if they would like. So, thank you again to Ms. Cook for uh, allowing us to showcase uh, her investment in Baltimore. Again, I am honored that you have chosen Baltimore and this community to call home and welcome and thank you. Am I bringing Ms. Cook up or are you uh, bringing Ms. Cook up? Uh, I think Mr. Constable first. Oh, all right, well, I'm not bringing anybody. I'm done. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. And uh, I, I, I neglected to say that uh, none of this would have been possible without the total support and encouragement of the mayor. Um, uh, when she took office in February of 2010, she said to me, we, we just have to do better. We have to really come up with a comprehensive approach to addressing this decades-old challenge of vacant and abandoned property. And so she and I, we worked uh, through the spring and summer to put, some, put a program together. She and I announced in November of 2010 the Vacants to Value, and we've come a long ways since that date, uh, but we're only just getting started. We're really just ramping up, and I want to thank the mayor for, uh, she. I don't think she mentioned it in her comments, but she quadrupled the amount of money uh, for demolition. This mayor has committed $100 million over a 10-year period for demolition activity, so where we can't rehab it, we're going to knock it down so that we can really uh, ensure that the neighbors don't have to endure the blight uh, as they uh, uh, try to maintain their own homes and their own blocks. Um, so I want to thank uh, Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake for that uh, commitment and that support. Um, we, we also get tremendous support from uh, so many investors and developers and one of the most creative really I think is uh, Seawall Development and their handiwork is all around us here in this community uh, and other places uh, like the, uh, the, uh, the Arts High School over in um, um, uh, Greenmount West, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, so I want to turn it over to John Constable of Seawall to talk about the project they're doing on, in this particular house and in this neighborhood and, this, and throughout the city. So John, why don't you come on up? Uh, thank you, Commissioner, and thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, brief history on, on Seawall, super brief. We, uh, we wanted to be social entrepreneurs and we wanted to use real estate as the tool. And, and we wanted to focus on education. And so our very first uh, stab at that was to redevelop Miller's Court, which is a 80,000 square foot building right up the street. And we created a, a bunch of amazing space for education-based nonprofits. And we also did 40 apartments for teachers. If you're a teacher, you get a discount. The whole goal was to attract and retain teachers to Baltimore City. We had no idea how we'd measure that, but we 
do the best we could. And about a year ago, we started being approached by our residents, such as tonight, and they asked us, well first they told us, hey, I've been teaching for a few years, we've decided to put our roots down in Baltimore, and we want to stay in Remington. Do you guys have homes we can buy? We kind of looked at each other and said, no, but give us a couple weeks. So tonight walked out of the room, we all high-fived each other, um, realizing we were actually retaining a couple folks, and, uh, and, and we, we set out to buy and sell homes um, to all these great young folks moving to Baltimore, staying in Baltimore. And that's where Vacancy Value came in. As far as I'm concerned, it's an unbelievable toolbox for the developer. And we've used every tool in that box. Um, from Vacancy Value accumulating homes, a critical mass of homes, we, we got ten, nine homes on Remington Avenue through a land disposition agreement, and that critical mass was key, because um, one house here and there is a little bit scary. And so they gave us that critical mass, and uh, I, I pre-sold those homes, one of which tonight uh, moved into a couple months ago, I pre-sold those homes in 48 hours, um, okay. without even starting demo. Um, All right. Really cool. I accumulated a few homes through one house at a time and went through the auction process, which was fascinating. And then homes like this one behind me uh, were, were owned by kind of absentee landlords. Uh, you know, I have this wonderful single mother living next to this home. The roof was starting to collapse and, and vacancy values pushed, pushed the owner into having to sell that through citations, um, which sometimes is a very necessary tool. And, and uh, it w that was kind of the last straw that, that, that this woman realized she had to sell this house. Now, of course, two weeks after we finally acquired it, then the roof decided to collapse. <laughs> but, um, but I'm glad I owned it, not an absentee landlord, so we had the means and the will to fix it f for the neighbor and the eventual uh, young family who's going to move in, which was a uh, past tenant of Miller's Court. Um, so it's been this phenomenal process. What Vacant Valley's really done is Given a playing field, we know the rules, we know who we need to talk to. Redeveloping older homes is tough enough. If there's a change in playing field, it's near impossible. So I know I can pick up the phone and call Julie Day and Michael Guy and, and, and Michael Braverman and, and have this, you know, this huge support team um, to, to you know, really help us do a difficult thing. And, and we have about 25 homes we've done. They're all pre-sold, uh, an unbelievably diverse crew moving into the neighborhood. We're stabilizing it. We have commercial uh, projects right behind us and, um, in either direction. And, and, and the stabilization is, is, I mean, Remington is the it place right now. And, uh, and we could not have done, done it without vacant to value. And, and having that playing field and having that infrastructure behind us and all the tools in the box to use. And the real stories are our homeowners. I mean, it, we have people moving into these properties. Uh, in the case of Remington Avenue, uh, we were able to stack all these incredible incentives, including the booster from Vacancy Values. Um, the, the, more often than not, the residents moving in these, into these homes are paying less on their mortgage than they were paying for their, their rent. And it, it's just a, it's a win-win situation for everybody. And uh, Seawall Development could not have done it without Vacancy Values. So th thank you all. And thanks to the end user. Thank you very much, John. Uh, you basically uh, uh, gave away our entire uh, cookbook there because you, you really did use every... Uh, I'm mixing my metaphors, aren't I? I'm having a rough day with that. Uh, <laughs> cookbooks and toolboxes. Uh, like this morning, I couldn't remember what that, what that thing was that you put water in. It was a bottle. It was a bottle I was trying to remember. Not a, not a jug. I was, it, you'd had to have been there to understand. I was struggling. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I really, really um, very excited to introduce the next woman who um, is one of those people who has been here fighting the good fight and, 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 and uh, uh, defending her neighborhood and going out and ensuring that, that, that good things happen to our community. Um, and so without further ado, I want to introduce uh, uh, Judith Kunz, the uh, Remington Community Association. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I did go to the breakfast, and he did tell us all to take jugs home. <laughs> I just want to thank you for this invitation to speak today. I think this is like a birthday party to me. Three years ago, I took a vacation day. Now, you have to realize I work union. Punch in, punch out. So in order to come to something like this, I take a vacation day. 
And I think that day in December, I had no idea what values to vacants was. I was totally clueless, and I'm thinking about it, thinking, well, at least I hope they have good coffee when I get there. <laughs> it turned out to be one of the best days that I've spent in Baltimore, and I just want to thank you all for inviting me to that and to this. You're in my stomping grounds. I live right around the corner on the 200 block. I have this, one of the smallest houses in here except for Miles Avenue. My house is a telescope. It goes back to eight feet in the back. It's big enough for two trash cans. I want to tell you a minute about the Greater Remington Improvement Association. We are a resident-based community association and we provide an open forum for the development and discussion of Remington community issues and neighborhood improvement initiatives. Part of our mantra or whatever you want to call it is that we love these resident-based projects and John I consider you a neighbor doing a resident-based project moving in here it's a pleasure to live in a community where so many wonderful people really care I'd like to give a special thank you today to the mayor director Graziano and Julie Day and Michael Braverman you also pick up the phone thank you and if Michael's not there I know where Mara is <laughs> this program has been a tremendous asset to us and our partners. You're helping rid our community of blight, and it's a neighborhood of home that people really do want to purchase and live here. I don't want you all to get hit. Some of you may want to look behind you very carefully. Gria's symbol is a tree, and I like to think that Gria is putting down roots in the neighborhood and we're sheltering the neighborhood with the branches from our tree. Seawall symbol is sea change. Seawall, sea change. And now with the new logo, we're hip. So we're sheltering our community, seeing change, and we're hip. So we are really very happy about all of this very much. And I just want to thank you all for coming to my home. Thank you. Peter, thank you very much. Um, just one little um, note. We, we're rebranding for the new logo and all, but it's vacants to value, not value to vacants. Oh, really? <laughs> we're trying to go the other way. You know I do that all the time. We're trying to go the other way. <laughs> Wait a minute, Paul. Weren't the houses valuable, then they went vacant? Now we're taking them back. Yes. So it's valuable to vacant, back to value. Yeah, I got it. You, you were just giving us the free history there. Okay, thank you. We'll add that to the, uh, we'll make another video about the, that portion. Um, I'm getting cold, I don't know about the rest of you. But not cold enough to uh, make sure that we introduce our new homeowner here. Tonight Cook uh, is the new homeowner, homeowner to Remington. We heard her story. And I bet you one thing, it's a lot warmer probably in Texas than it is right here now. But we're going to ask you to come on up and describe your uh, coming wi winter here on Remington. <laughs> First, I would like to say thank you to um, Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake and to everyone behind me and in front of me and the, Baltimore, the city of Baltimore for welcoming me into the city. Um, when I first moved here in 2009, my only mission was to come and to teach through the Teach for America program. And after my two years of service, I just fell in love with my school and also the students. And so I wanted to continue my education at Johns Hopkins and also continue working in the city. Um, I was a resident at Miller's Court and I lived there for four years before the opportunity to buy a home um, was presented to me. And thank you to Michael Levine and to John Constable who were instrumental in helping me to buy my first home. And I'm just a country girl from Texas. I didn't really <laughs> want to stay here that long. I wanted to come and then leave. But now, not only is my heart here um, with working with the students, but also my home is here. And so as a um, first time home buyer, I'm excited. I, there's too much attention on me right now, so <laughs> I'm just like, wow, this is a very big deal. But um, to me, it's just living my life and progressing forward and being a model for my students and letting them know that regardless, you're a single person or whatever, you can always have your dreams realized. And being a first-time home buyer is, was and is one of my dreams. Um, 
And I would also like to say thank you to um, my neighbor, Michael um, Blake here, who is very warm and welcoming. And so are all of the, my neighbors on Remington. They made my transition from um, being a renter to a homeowner very smooth. And also, um, Seawall has been instrumental in making sure that everything um, is being taken care of while I'm in the home now. So. Um, I just want to say that I'm blessed and I appreciate everyone coming and standing in the cold to welcome me here into the city. So thank you. So don't go away because the mayor would like to present you with a housewarming party. Uh, uh, probably got a gift after this party. Uh, so. The part, what, we're waiting for the invitation to the party. Yeah. This is just to get you started. So there's a little something in there. A little bit of, a little bit of Maryland treats and I'm, you, you, you cannot know how proud I am that you are part of this program. You are what this program is all about. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, and we'll look forward to your official housewarming party. And if they didn't tell you already, I don't have to get the invitation. I'll just you crash it. Crash I'll just crash it. So you might thank as well you. tell me. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, what's that? Oh yes, we have a cake over. We have a uh, a value to vacant. I mean, I'm sorry, a vacant to value cake. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you.